Hi guys, it's Mark from Silence Tech, and today we're checking out the 270R from Corsair. I've just reviewed Corsair's newest case, the 460X RGB, and I absolutely loved it, so the 270R has a lot to live up to. The case comes in at a price of $69 in the US, and at a guess, it's around 50 to 60 UK pounds, as it's not actually confirmed yet. So this is an extremely budget friendly case, but hopefully the hasn't been too many corners cut in the aid of price. Taking a look at the 270R, it's very basic looking, with just a plain plastic front panel and the Corsair logo stamped on its lower third. You can remove the front panel by simply pulling it away from the chassis. One thing I noticed straight away is it fixes to the chassis with plastic clips. Now I shouldn't think these would last very long at all as they look like they would break easily. Also, instead of a large front dust filter, the 270R has dust filter mesh directly behind the vents. Now I shouldn't think this would be ideal, especially if they ever need swapping out. The front IO is neatly tucked away on the right side of the front panel. From top to bottom, it features a power button, two USB 3.0 ports, microphone headphone jacks, hard drive indication light, and lastly, a reset switch. Moving on to the left side panel, it has an ever so slightly smoked window that holds up to scratches really well. It also feels pretty strong and shouldn't ever bend out of shape, although it certainly flexes. The bolts used to fix the right side panel and the left side panel for that matter feel like they could cross thread pretty easily. Taking a look at the rear of the case, it has good ventilation, there's room for a standard ATX power supply, it has 7 expansion slots and room for only one 120mm fan. But the right side panel is plain black metal, there's nothing else on it at all, but if we open it up the 270R has some nice options for mounting up to two 3.5 inch hard drives and two 2.5 inch SSDs. I really love how you can quickly remove these drives by simply undoing the bolt. Mounting a hard drive or an SSD is super easy as well by simply lining up the holes and bolting it to the drive. Unfortunately the 270R doesn't have any rubber grommets, but the cutouts aren't sharp so you should be fine with your cables. There's also plenty of tie down points for cable management in and around the case. There's also ample room in the back as well. When fitting a power supply into the 270R, it goes straight in the back, making things a lot easier, although there isn't any cutout anywhere that I could find for routing the cables from the front I.O. close to the motherboard, so unfortunately the cables have to run right across the PSU cover. Looking inside the case, as I've just mentioned, the 270R has a metal PSU cover that is removable. It really tidies up all those cables. It's a fantastic extra to see on a case of this price point but the case has no trouble fitting any modern PSU with 225mm of clearance. The case has 370mm of clearance for GPUs and 170mm of clearance for CPU coolers. The front can house up to three 120mm and two 140mm fans, as well as up to a 360mm radiator. It also has pump and reservoir mounting holes for water-cooled builds. At the top of the case there's room for two 120mm fans and two 240mm fans with room for a 240mm radiator as well but if you have high profile RAM you will not be able to use these together and unfortunately you would have to put the radiator and the fans on the front of the case. Also, the 270R doesn't seem to have a dust filter at the top, which is a little strange as there appears to be a cutout area for one. Maybe mine got lost in shipping. Either way, they're purely for looks really as there's no need to filter air exiting out of the case, but they sure do look nice. So that about wraps up the review guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Unfortunately, I've been a little bit ill lately and I've currently got the flu. Hopefully I'll be back on the mend very soon, but that's why this video hasn't been my normal standard and it's been a little bit short. If we round off now as a bit of a summary, the case provides some great options for budget builders and there doesn't seem to be too many corners cut in the aid of cost. Overall, I'm going to give the 270R an 8 out of 10. The lack of rubber grommets, no cutout area for the front IO cables, and a lack of dust filters knocks some points off. But its price is so low that it retains a fairly decent score. Anyway, guys, I've been Marcus from Totally Silence Tech, and I'm seriously ill with the flu, but I hope you still enjoyed this video. Goodbye.